Hey everyone, it's Christine and I'm back with week 60 weigh-in. 60 weeks! 60 freaking weeks on Weight Watchers. Yes, I have been slowly getting back into Weight Watchers counting points because it does remind me to get my fruits and vegetables in there versus eating like a bunch of snacky carbs and stuff. So I do count, I'm doing both again because it does help me to uh, balance out you know, healthy food versus, you know, just because this has less calories and it doesn't mean that it's the best thing to be eating. I've noticed I've been eating a lot of salty, uh, sugary things just because they're low in calories, but they're really high in sugar. So I've uh, slowly been getting back into Weight Watcher, uh, Weight Watcher points just because I was really contemplating um, just canceling it because I was counting points, you know, every, I mean, counting calories every single day. But I think I'm going to hang on to Weight Watcher points because it just, it makes me feel more comfortable uh, knowing that I'm, uh, you know, not restricting fruits and vegetables just because they have calories. Uh, those are healthy things, you know, those are natural sugars that I should be eating. So uh, that's basically, you know, I am getting back into Weight Watcher point counting. So if you can hear in my voice... I didn't even realize it, but I think I'm starting to get a little sick, um, or it might be just a tickle in my throat. It's weird. Like I, <clears throat> I didn't even notice it until you know I went to school, and then my friend was like, "Are you getting sick?" So hopefully, if I can uh, catch it, uh, you know, do something early, I can prevent from getting sicker. So I lost this week, which is really exciting because I went to LA this past weekend. That's why my video's um, being put up late. Uh, I went to LA on Friday afternoon to see some friends and, you know, uh, go sightseeing and, uh, you know, go out and just have a fun time with them because this is my last, uh, that was my last week I, weekend I would be able to. My mom's flying into Vegas on Thursday so that she can help me get all my stuff together and get packed. So I was really excited about going to LA for, you know, the last time. It's only like a 40 minute flight, so I knew I wanted to go before I, I moved, so I wasn't gonna, you know, when I travel like that, it's really hard for me to be able to, like, point every, you know, calorie out, and I'm going places I've never been. But the awesome thing about going to LA is every single menu there has something healthy to eat. So, we went to eat out for brunch on Sunday, and they had an amazing, amazing uh, egg white omelet, and it was stuffed with vegetables, it, um, I think they gave us like three little roasted potatoes and it came with a salad with like light vinaigrette. I love <laughs> LA because they do that. It's like everyone's so health conscious there that, you know, it's really easy to find healthy options there. So I didn't even have to calorie count. And I weighed in on Sunday and I lost 1.2 pounds. So I'm really excited. I am down to 193.4 which is the lowest I've been since my surgery. And that means I'm only about, you know, a little over three pounds away from being in the 180s, which, ah, 180s, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to be in the 180s since January, and it is March. I can't believe how long it took me to get closer to the lower 190s because I was skipping out of, like, every single, you know, section of uh, 10 pounds, like, I was losing at least 10 pounds every couple of weeks, so that was a, you know, probably why I had so much extra skin. The weight was falling off really fast. But yeah, it's cool to see that, you know, I'm, you know, steadily working at my uh, exercise. I did work out, I think, three, two or three times last week, just until the point where if my abs start to feel pain versus feeling exhaustion if they're exhausted then you know I know I got a good workout but when I start to feel pain like physical like ow like that hurts it feels like I'm being ripped apart that's not normal and that's when I stop so I've been doing the crunch videos uh, still on uh, Netflix and I go to the gym um, when I can work it in but I'm not making it a really really important thing to do yet just uh, the gym is just, you know, if I have the time, I like to just stay in my apartment or, you know, when I go home, I just like to stay and, you know, do the crunch workouts because I can, uh, you know, if I start to feel really tired, I don't, you know, when I go to the gym, I think I push myself too hard. 
when I'm at home and I know that, you know, maybe it's a, I'm going a little too hard, I can just take a break. But I feel like in the gym, if I don't get a really good workout, I feel like it's a waste of a trip. So that's what's going on there. But yeah, it was a great, uh, great loss. I'm really excited. Someone commented about my hair in, in a few less videos. If you couldn't tell, it's a lot longer than one of my other videos. I got extensions. Um, I've, I used to have really long hair, like probably a little, like maybe right here. Um, and it, you know, I went blonde a couple of years ago and it went, eh, 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 and I slowly just lost it. This right here is like pretty close to, um, how long my hair is. This is my natural hair right here. So that's how short it is. And I've wanted long hair again. So I went and got some extensions and they're really comfortable. I love them. Um, just like weight loss, hair extensions give me so much confidence. <laughs> Anything that'll give me a little more, uh, confidence is always a plus so that was that that's my week week 60 was awesome and I'm already on the start of week 61 and I think I'm going to try to fit in a couple of workouts this week uh like I said my mom's coming in Thursday so hopefully I can get a workout and my, while she's here maybe she can come with me that'd be fun because she likes to walk on the treadmill so yeah I hope you guys had great weigh-ins I'm going to check out all your videos right now because I haven't gotten a chance to catch up on my videos yet so Hopefully this cold, if it is a cold, will uh, get better before it gets worse. So, alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!